Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my product empties for January 2018. So I have my little basket here. I like to collect either bath products and makeup products and skincare products that I've used up over the, the past. This is actually over the past like month and a half, two months. Um, but let's just go ahead and get started. I have two hand lotions, hand lotions. I have two hand soaps here from Bath and Body works uh, the first one is in springtime clementine and then I have Mary Berry kiss so I had these downstairs one in my kitchen and one in my uh, powder room downstairs and I really really like these I made a purchase about six months ago and I'm starting to use up the these uh, hand soaps and I had never tried these foaming hand soaps before and I really really like them over the next couple of months you guys are going to see these a lot in my empties and um, the springtime Clementine was okay it wasn't really super clementine-y smelling it did smell uh, fruity it did smell like fresh but it wasn't really my favorite but I really did enjoy the Mary Berry kiss I think this one is a really really nice scent it was definitely fruity um, and the scent lingered for a while after using uh, that I have one product here from perfectly posh this is the sugar scrub from there this is in the color in the color <laughs> guys I can't speak today this is in the scent uh, dementia which is like a mint uh, candy scent and I talked about these in my best and worst of perfectly posh and I typically don't like these body scrubs but I have found a like a mitt that I use with my body scrubs that has just changed my mind on body scrubs body scrubs altogether so I've really been enjoying these body scrubs and it's kind of nice because I'm starting to push them out of my collection because I had several of these and I just I rarely use them but now that I have that mitt I use a body scrub a about once or twice a week now and I just I really really enjoy them I think in my best and worst of perfectly posh I said that these weren't really worth getting but that was because of my preference and how I use them I thought the product was really good but just for me I personally just didn't like body scrubs period but they are a really good product and now that I have found a uh, a tool that I can use uh, with these I want to say they're between like 20 and 22 dollars some of the scents uh that they're retiring like they have seasonal scents sometimes they have these on sale for around 16 dollars i definitely think they're worth getting uh they last me a really really long time it took me a good bit to uh, go through that even when i started using it regularly so I think they're going to last you a, a pretty good, a decent amount of time. The next thing I have in here is from Clinique, and this is the Take Off the Day Micellar Cleansing Towelettes for Face and Eyes. And this had uh, 50 towelettes in here. I picked this up at a CCO because I wanted to test out how I liked these towelettes. These were really nice, but they are a little bit on the expensive side. However, they aren't super wet so sometimes I felt like uh they they really didn't do a good job at completely removing ev everything because they weren't really uh super wet so I wish they had a little bit of a wetter formula it could be because I bought them at a CCO so maybe they had um just been sitting on the shelf for too long but I mean, I liked it. I, I, I definitely wouldn't repurchase them or pay full price for them. I have a few, well, actually I have two face masks here and I think they're both the same thing. This is the Collagen Hydrogel uh, Gold Mask. I think I may have gotten this in like an Ipsy or a BoxyCharm or something like that. It was really cool because the, the, the mask itself was like a gold, like shimmery mask. It is a gel mask and not like a cloth mask. Masks. I prefer gel sheet masks, but sometimes they're a little bit more on the expensive side. But I really like these because the effect lingered on my skin for the next couple of days after using the mask. Sometimes I use masks just as a quick pick-me-up because I know I'm not really going to feel the effects the next day. But with these, I felt them not only the next day, but for the next couple of days. So I'm actually going to look into uh, picking up a few of these. Uh, the brand, I think, is called Maskology. Hopefully, they're not too expensive, but if I ever see those um, on sale or something like that, I'll definitely uh, pick them up. 
top. I have a sample here from Madam CJ Walker. This is the Frizz Fighting Coconut and Moringa Oils. It's called the Curl Whip Styling Souffle. And this is meant uh, to use on uh, for curly and wavy hair. This sample was huge. It was completely, like this was completely full. I actually ended up transferring it to like a little potted container because I didn't want uh, the cream to dry out. It smells absolutely divine. They have a couple of different ones. There's one in like uh, this blue one and then there's like a yellow one and they both have like really nice nourishing oils for curly hair. I have a few oils that I'm working through right now and a few styling creams that I'm working through right now, but I'm definitely gonna be picking these up whenever I run out of them. But I, I kind of wanna use up the samples that I have right now and use up the uh, products right that I'm using right now before I purchase anything. But this is sold at uh, Sephora. I don't know if Madam CJ Walker is sold at Ulta, but if there ever is, if they are sold at Ulta, I'll just wait for them to do, do a, like a 20% off coupon because Madam CJ Walker is a little bit on the expensive side. So then I have a few more skincare items here um, from Perfectly Posh. The first one is the Stay Forever Young Never Grow Up Anti-Aging Face Cream. I completely use this up. I really, really like this as like my nighttime moisturizer. And I also like that it has um, anti-aging benefits to it. I use this in conjunction with the anti-aging serum. This is definitely one of the products that I recommended during the best and worst of Perfectly Posh. I have a new one of these that I'm actually working through right now and I alternate between that this and like the Luna uh, sleeping oil because I feel like the Luna sleeping oil is a little too heavy for my skin to use every single day so I do alternate between that and the uh, Luna sleeping oil the next perfectly posh item that I have is uh, this is the moisturize 911 caffeinated face cream this is my all-time favorite face cream definitely something that I wear um, as my daytime moisturizer because it does have caffeine in here and this also smells like oranges it has like citrus in here so if you're allergic to citrus oils stay away from this because it will break you out because this does actually have like citrus oils in here and smells divine and because it has caffeine in it it tightens your skin it is a lovely moisturizer. I've heard some people say that it can be a little too heavy on their skin, um, but I have oily skin and I don't really find that to be the case. I would recommend this one. I definitely talked about this uh, during my best and worst worse than perfectly posh and I highly recommend getting that face cream it I have introduced that cream to so many people definitely one of the products that I recommend so then I have a few items here from living proof I want to say I picked uh this up as a set maybe a few months ago this is the living proof perfect hair day conditioner shampoo and then they dry shampoo I loved all three of these. However, Living Proof is really, really expensive. And I have a few shampoo and conditioner samples right now that I'm going through. Right now I'm using like the Diva Curl or Deva Curl system. I would repurchase these if they weren't so dang expensive. I like the dry, dry shampoo, but honestly, it's too expensive to replace my Batiste. Right now I am using a Batiste, but I really like this whenever I do like a conditioning treatment because whenever I do a conditioning treatment, I feel like my hair gets a lot greasier a lot quicker. Um, and the Batiste doesn't necessarily handle that all that well, and this does. So I do like the dry shampoo. Again, it's expensive. Um, but I am going to look into seeing if they have like sets because I know they come out with sets uh, for the holidays and then they put them on sale. So whenever, whenever those go on sale, I'm definitely going to be picking those up. I have one nail polish item in here for you guys. This is the Nail Teaks Formula 2. Um, I use this as a base coat, but it's technically a, a treatment. So you would use this if you have like weak, thin, peeling, or chipping, or nails that chip too much or break too much. This is a really, really nice treatment. I don't recommend this purchasing it at uh, Ulta or anywhere. I get this off of Amazon. There is a two-pack version of this that is literally half the size so you're or half the size half the half the price so you are 
basically paying for one and getting one free. Yeah. That's the way I purchase the Nail Takes Formula 2. It is very expensive. The only way I have, I found a loophole around it by purchasing, purchasing it through Amazon. I have one lip product here that I completely use up. This is the Meet Matte Hues uh, Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Committed. This was just a sample. I also have a sample of the Makeup Forever uh, Skin Equalizer. This is the Step 1 Skin Equalizer in the Smooth primer I completely used that up I have a brow gel a mini deluxe size of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel this deluxe size sample lasted me so long I love this brow gel pretty much all I use in my brow is brow gel right now I'm using uh, the essence one I don't use um, brow pencils or pomades or anything like that all I use is a clear brow gel to kind of just brush out my hair I have pretty thick brows I don't really feel the need uh, to shape them or fill them in or anything so all I use is a brow gel and I really really didn't enjoy this but it is very expensive I did see it during the 21 days of beauty that they had it for half off and I thought about purchasing it but I want to use up my essence ones essence one first and then I'll think about purchasing this if it ever goes back on sale again I have a full size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I got this. I didn't pay full price for this. I actually got this in like a box or something like that. I like this mascara only for the first month because it starts to dry out on me. And once it starts drying out, it's going to start flaking off of your eyelashes. You have also have to be very careful building up uh, this uh, mascara because if you put it on too thick, it's just going to flake off and it's going to have a whole bunch of fallout. I don't like how temperamental it is and I don't like how much work you have to put into it because it's such an expensive mascara. I just really like my um, Lash Princess Mascara from Essence. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of uh, mascara samples that I'm working through. This is one of them. This is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. And I really just didn't like this mascara. I felt like it did uh, nothing for my lashes. It really didn't give me like any type of volume or definition or length or anything like that. So I was a little disappointed because Bobbi Brown is an expensive brand. And I, I, would, I thought that their uh, mascara would be really, really nice. But I'm glad that it wasn't because I probably wouldn't buy a full size of it anyways. Then I have the... Um, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This was really, really good, but I probably would never pay full price for this. Uh, if it was on sale, I would definitely pick it up because it is a really nice, like, brush um, eyeliner. This deluxe size sample lasted me a pretty long time, though. I'm really glad I got that as a sample. So pretty much anytime I see that they have the like points for those or that it, you get it um, using a code online for Sephora, I will pick up uh, that uh, that one or the Stilo one. Um, so I have several of those already in my collection and I just, I really enjoy using them, but again, I wouldn't pay full price for them. Then I have the Absolute New York Nano Eyeliner and this is probably the skinniest eyeliner I have ever seen. It is so teeny tiny. I really, really loved it for creating a very, very thin wing. I wouldn't really use this as like my overall eyeliner. It would only really go in um, afterwards and just make uh, my wing, re wing really thin. I really enjoyed that. I probably wouldn't repurchase it because the eyeliners that I'm using right now, either the Stila or the NYX, uh, really give me a really nice wing. I use the NYX. I can't remember what the NYX eyeliner is. I'll, I'll, it, it'll be down below in the description box, but I really like it for doing my wing. And then the last thing I used up is the Mr. Right Now eyeliner pencil, and this is in the color Bill. I actually uh, didn't completely use this up. I was working on it. It ended up drying out on me and just completely falling out. So there's nothing left. You can't roll this up. So, you know, it's an empty. I didn't really like the Mr. Right Now um, eyeliners. I definitely wouldn't purchase a full size of them, but I had it in my collection, so I just wanted to go ahead and use it up. So that's it. Those are all of my product empties for uh, January 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I currently post three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and then I do a weekly makeup basket on Sundays. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.